Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province has been pursuing public transportation improvements. Among these efforts is the planned establishment of the Gyeonggi Transportation Corporation, which will undertake the integrated management of transportation systems for the province's 31 cities and counties. This past March, the province also introduced Gyeonggi public buses that are operated under a route bid-based semi-public bus management system. Gyeonggi Province is providing youths who have been psychologically affected by the COVID-19 pandemic with online psychological testing support. Applicants for the support are referred to one of 15 local youth consultation and welfare centers for online psychological testing and consultation services. Applications can be made by the youths themselves or by their guardians via the 1388 Youth Hotline. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to develop Korea's largest eco-friendly hydrothermal energy systems in industrial complexes in the cities of Gwangmyeong and Shihung. Part of the province's new and renewable energy development efforts, the hydrothermal heating and cooling systems utilize water temperatures that are lower than ambient temperatures in summer and higher in winter. According to K-Water, use of hydrothermal systems will have the effect of reducing energy consumption by approximately 89,000 megawatt hours, while also decreasing microdust by 48 tons and greenhouse gases by 22,000 tons. Gyeonggi Province recently launched a system that provides information about natural water quality. This system delivers water quality test results, including the potability of springs and water resorts in the province. It also offers water quality figures for water purification plants, as well as information about promenades along waterways. 물 관련 정보는 여러 기관에서 그리고 여러 시스템을 통해서 정보가 제공됐었는데요. 설문 조사를 통해서 도민들이 원하는 서비스를 다한 곳에 모아서 찾기 쉽고 그리고 이용하기 쉽게 그렇도록 구축했습니다. From this year, Gyeonggi Province will pay vacation support of 250,000 Korean won to temporary employees. Subjects of the support include platform, special job, and temporary workers with monthly incomes of less than 3 million Korean won. Actual vacation funds per individual will be 400,000 Korean won, of which 250,000 is borne by the province, while the remaining 150,000 is deducted from wages. These vacation funds can be used from next month to purchase domestic travel packages through a designated online mall. The Gyeonggi Province Fire and Disaster Headquarters has appointed 1,907 ambulance workers to heat wave response teams that will operate until September. Heat waves are expected to arrive earlier than normal, with the number of related days also expected to increase this year. During this period, ambulances will be equipped with heat wave treatment devices, including ice vests, ice packs, and saline solution for emergency treatment while callers will also be provided with relevant emergency medical advice. Amid rising construction site safety concerns stemming from underground incidents such as sinkhole occurrences, Gyeonggi Province has undertaken underground safety management. To this end, 111 specialists, known as Gyeonggi Underground Safety Keepers, will operate in teams that provide on-site safety management at 24 underground construction sites in nine cities and counties of the province from June 9th to 12th. The province will encourage local governments to secure their own budgets to continue local operation of the teams. 조직이나 인력이나 이런 게그 부족해서 
이런 지하 공사장에 대한 그 안전 점검에 많은 어려움을 겪었습니다. 경기도 그 지하 안전 지킴이가 저희 시 시의 그 공사 현장을 방문해서 이렇게 안전 점검을 해줘서 안전 사고 예방에 많은 도움이 된것 같습니다. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.